Hey, YouTube, what's up? You know, it's been a long time since I've been on here giving you an update on our house build, but uh, boy, a lot's been happening. We had a lot of delays, you know, COVID, engine blowing up on the truck, but we've got some catching up to do. So we're going to talk about the trusses, a shed I've built, and much more coming right up. We got all but five trusses up today. We're helping these guys right here. And my buddy Jim. We got Bill over there. Bill and Jill and Odd Todd. Oh, there's the slave drivers right behind you, right there. <laughs> Since the last time I seen you, we just barely had the concrete down here. And look where we're at now. I've got the walls up. Look at all the walls up. We use two by six. We get this is our little window here. This is our view out into the hills. The storage shed. This is our front door. I'm just kind of using it as a construction door right now. It's not going to be the final door that we use here. But outside we have a little bit of a um, a, this is like a little porch or a little patio. It's 8 by 10. You can see all the trusses are up. Yeah. So it's coming along. When doing trusses it's all about the details. Notice the transition here between the wooden wall to the shipping container. Also, when I had the trusses built, notice the six foot wide by four foot tall attic space that we had them built into the trusses so we'd have room to run our mechanicals and also for storage. Yeah, that's that was tedious. That's a lot of tedious work connecting to the shipping container. Then you have to put blocking up between each row of sheathing so the edges of the sheathing touch blocking that's to add strength and rigidity to the roof to help against any kind of snow loading that you might have up there. Now over here, this is the bedroom. So these two windows are on either side of the bed. That's going to be a king size bed fitting right there. And then over in this container here, that's going to be a bathroom. So we'll have a door in here to go to the bathroom and then over here, oh yeah, we cut that wall out last night for the shipping container. We now have access to the container from inside the house. Eventually, this whole wall is going to come down, but that's, uh, right now we just wanted to get access because once we put the trusses up, now we can't open the container doors. I mean, you can open it to get in there a little bit, but not enough to get anything out. So, all right. So let's walk around to the back of the house. So this is uh, this is the east-facing wall, the gable wall. You can uh, <coughs> you can see we haven't sheathed this side yet. I'm working on it. Um, we got our outriggers up for the uh, for the fly rafters. Um, and we got all the normally that would be sub fascia, but. Uh, I decided just to make it fascia. As you can see right there, I did the, mitered the quarter, the corners to uh, 45 degree, then 18 degree for the 412 pitch, 18.2 I think, and then had to take a little notch off at the bottom there and make it just right. And then I like to put these little boards on the end right here. And what that does is when I put the sheathing up there, it doesn't slide down. It also gives something like to catch me if I start to slip. So there's the container, this is the back of the house, that's the container, the back door, the two bedroom windows, and the other container. It's kind of the pile where I'm getting all my dirt from in order to, uh, you know, build up the ground. This is built up about three foot all together. Use a lot of AB mix. so. It, it's compactable. Um, it all used to be, you know, down around this level like this. So, but the water runs around the building, not through it. I did the same thing with the shed. 
the ground gets higher the further north you go right there so this is the storage shed now we're just kind of prepping it for paint so you can see we got that t111 with four inch spacing and uh i will be putting um what do you call it a soffits up here all the way along so i got bird blocking in there and uh you got the front door in it's good to go and now i gotta trim it i'm gonna paint the body of the house first the main body color and then we'll paint the then i'll put up the uh trim and kind of pre-paint that here's the inside of the shed you probably aren't going to be able to see it as dark i have no windows in here oh there we go it actually does light up Whew. it's warm in here too this is the shed for right now it's uh we're calling it the construction shed but we're you know we got supplies in here we had to get it out of the weather now all that stuff i showed you in the container earlier we're going to start shifting some of that out here that's the inside yeah and we get the trusses from the same people who did the trusses on uh, for the house. They really did an excellent job. So, yep, that's that. As, uh, as you can see, we've been making some progress. You know, it's just that that beast over there, behind my shoulder, the truck, in 2019, the end of 2019, when we were set to do all this, the engine blew up in the truck, as many of you know. So there went the money I had saved up to build the house. And then that took me till, I don't know, like February to rebuild it. I did it myself. You guys seen the videos. And then um, and then COVID hit and then freight was really down. So basically 2020 was almost a waste, but I saved up money once again to do the trusses and to do the walls for the house. But in November, the trusses had almost tripled in price. The metal for the roofing, which is back there behind me, had almost doubled in price. And the lumber for the uh, for the walls, of course, you know how everything just skyrocketed. So all I could afford to do in uh, 2020, November, December, was build the walls. And I bought the uh, I bought all the um, sheathing that I needed. Uh, you know the zip system sheathing that I like to use. I bought all of that, so I had that in stock, had to keep it covered and secured for a year. The prices started coming down on the lumber, but went back up again. But you know, my, my three years were up. I had to extend my permit. I only got another year left to get all this done. So um, that's kind of why there's not been many videos about everything going together. I'm just rushing to try and get it done. And any of those, those of you that are out there that shoot videos of uh, your house build or whatever, engine builds, whatever you're doing, you know that it's a production and it takes a lot of time and I just haven't had that kind of time but you know it'd just be a shame to for future purposes for myself to not have documented this so anyway that's going to be it for today thanks for watching and we'll see you soon <music>